Bro, the Minutemen are back. Look at our cool little castle. Well, I haven't really done anything to the castle yet. But it's a work in progress, bro. It is a work in progress. One day, I'm going to just build a badass castle. And you guys are going to be like, holy shit. Did you really build that? But it's going to definitely take some time for that to happen. I'm looking for Preston. I don't see him anywhere. Bro, you got to love my crib, man. I can't wait to get to the castle and start building there. But, like, can I top this house? Because this house is absolutely ridiculous, bro. The time and effort I put in, I can only imagine how big I would want to go once I started building at the castle. But then again, the island is also an opportunity to build at. So I might, bro, I might be building a ton of different areas. Look at all these people that we've recruited, like all these new faces. What's going what up, on? dude? Hey, girl. Yeah? How you doing, trash can Carla? Why you? Why they call you trash can Carla? That's a weird name. Preston, wake your ass up. Wake up. What do you need, General? I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you I love how he to. calls me general. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. A pack of ghouls has holed up near a settlement. They could use our help. I'll mark it on your map. We can use all the support we can get. So, see what you can do to help. You got it, buddy, but we're gonna have to do that later. Me and Piper got some business to attend to. Proctor Ingram, I think, is going to have something for us to do. Let's see what she's talking about. She's probably going to want us to build so, something again. I bet you're eager to get your hands dirty on our new project. Yep. How much has Maxon told you about it? Nothing. He didn't tell me anything. Makes sense. We've been trying to keep it under wraps until the time was right. Come on. It's this way. Unless you're blind as a bat, I'm sure you've noticed that we've been building a gantry on the tarmac. Maxon and Kells have been looking for something that'll tip the balance when we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Institute. Oh, God, what are you building? Goodwin might be a big beast, but she's not built for fighting. She is a That's big beast. That's where our new project comes oh, in. Oh, God, what is it? Is it going to be something badass? She's putting in a cheat code. Let me get that code. Oh, what is that? This storage bay full of parts is what's left of Liberty Prime. The Brotherhood used it in the Capital Wasteland as a weapon against the Enclave. Bro, that thing looked me. It's the most advanced robot the Brotherhood has ever had at its disposal. Unfortunately, Liberty Prime was destroyed in the line of duty. Is that her right there? I spent the better part of the last few years piecing him back together. And if you think that was easy, try rebuilding a Protectron while you're blindfolded. Proctor Ingram, this is not what I do. I, I don't build stuff. In order to get Liberty Prime fully operational, I kick ass we're and going take to names, bro. No problem. No problem. I'm sure this only looks worse than it actually is. Huh. I wish I had your confidence. Because this is not going to be easy. Now, the good news is that we've got most of Prime's parts fully assembled. The bad news is that it's going to take more than a few rivets and some spot welding to get them working again. The first problem is his CPU. It's fragile. And every time we try to feed power to it, it blows itself out. Well... You fix I it, assume Proctor. You can fix that? I wish it was that simple. If this happened to one of the robots on the Pridwin, I'd just swap out its fusion pile. As much as I hate to admit it, Prime's power system. Alright, you just tell me what I need to go around the wasteland Luckily, and pick up. To convince Dr. Madison we already Lee know to that's gonna happen. She was on the original build team for Liberty Prime a little over a decade ago. I've already spoken to her, but she's reluctant to work on Prime for some reason. If you could get her down here to lend a hand with his power system, we can get the big guy moving. I can do that. I think I can do that at least. Speak to Dr. Lee. Yo, Dr. Lee's already back to the Brotherhood. Bro, father probably knows that I'm about to betray his bitch ass. I don't know. We're going to find out. If Dumb and Ugly had a child, it'd be a super mutant. Hey, man, don't be making fun of the super mutants. They're not that bad. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered directly to Proctor Quinlan. Dr. Lee! That is all. 
If you're here to talk me into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget. Doctor Lee, you already know that I. You already know that One I've of got us is that a liar. thing. And it isn't me. Oh, don't try and pin that nonsense on me. I said I'd come back to the Brotherhood, and I have. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. Oh, well, I I've didn't know that, Doctor Lee. Before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Avenge Virgil. If not for the Brotherhood, do it for Doctor Virgil. Think about what we could accomplish here. What they did to Dr. Piper Virgil Piper idolizes cool. me. She it loves me, bro. How could I be so blind? You really know how to push my buttons, don't you? Bro, it Tell worked. Tell Dr. Ingram to get her scribes ready. It worked. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. Bro, we did it. Now we got to go back and talk to... Go back and talk to Proctor Ingram, like, back and forth. Back and Bro, forth. No when am I going to get to shoot somebody? What's the matter, Piper? Is something up? Well, yeah, but it's nothing bad. Just what you said about Nat. I've been going over it again and again in my head, and what you said was right. Family's too precious. What kind of life is she going to have if I never go near Piper, her again? Piper, you're it's like just... life material, Piper. We're Sometimes gonna get married one day. Like Look at her. She's just gleaming looking at me. She loves me, bro. Having someone I can count on. Someone like you. It's meant a lot to me. Not a lot of people want to hang around with a nosy reporter. Hey, you can hang around with me anytime you want. A little girl in a printing press. Sounds like a rich life you've made for yourself. Ain't that the truth? I mean, I never started the paper. Bro, we've friends. been working Piper for I just a minute now. Wanted to write the things I thought were wrong. And when Nat and I first got to Diamond City, there was a lot of wrong. Crooked guards, lousy... All right, Piper, I started the paper here we go. After the first Piper couple of editions. Blah, 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 blah. Sounds like you really cleaned up Diamond City. Huh. A lot of things. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. Piper just folks? loves the chit-chat. You can count on me, Piper. I know yeah, I can. you can. You're not afraid of me like everyone else. I no, was sure that the paper would be the best thing I ever did in my life, but... Being here with you now... Nah, I don't know. I've needed someone like you in my life for a long time, Blue. I just never expected I'd actually get them. So thank you for being the friend I can count on. Piper, we're more than just friends. Romance. Ooh, romance. Clutch nasty time. It sounds to me like you're interested in becoming more than just friends. Oh. Damn! Um, <sighs> we failed again, bro. I just bro. don't know if I ever... Mm -hmm. Maybe, um... Uh, maybe for now we just stay friends. See where things go. Okay, now, Piper. Now, what do you say we get moving? Damn, dude. Having reached the highest level of affinity with Piper, you gain the gift of grab perk. What's that mean? Can I grab her and the Hey. Shoot. Hey. Bro, she loves me. Proctor Ingram, what are you going to make Proctor me do Ingram? now? I got oh, Dr. Lee now. To a good start. Isn't that right, Doc? I hope so. Oh, Dr. Prime Lee's right there. Some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good yeah, news is her, that Dr. the damage Lee. isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Charming, isn't she? I love Dr. Lee. Don't you test me, Ingram. Maybe I should teach her some manners. That's not necessary. No. She isn't going to be much good to us if she's lying in a hospital bed. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. Yes, yeah, she We're is. Working I love with one Dr. Of Prime's Lee. original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're going to have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Sure. Yeah, Anything there's you no need. getting That's around it. I might as well you. just agree with her. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. I have no the idea, Proctor Ingram, what, allows what you're Liberty talking Prime's about. arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're going to have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. How now that you know what that? the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. Okay. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered high magnet. magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. 
We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good okay. luck. Totally noted. I need four of those bad boys. Can we just get a, a rush of enemies coming Grandma after us? I think she loves that would be great. Too much. Bro, I hope that there's one of these magnets in the Diamond City. I mean, everything else we could ever possibly want is in Diamond City. So if I don't have to go in one of those hospitals, I think we're in good business. Let me check out my, my favorite lady. Well, I suppose we... Yeah, you better, sure. you better do some business with me. Everything you need. Hopefully I have enough money to buy a magnet. Oh, I got the magnet. Construct electromagnetic. All right, we got to make four of those things, man. Back to the other place we go. I'm a pretty good builder, man. That's why they got me doing all this stuff, because they know my skills at the building, man. They know that I can build some really cool stuff. Toke Nasty the Builder, boys. Now I got to figure out where I need to go to build this bad boy. Ooh, a blowtorch. What the hell am I supposed to do with a blowtorch? Like, look at this thing. That thing looks mean, dude. It's supposed to be a weapon to blow up the Institute, I think, is what they said. Bro, I need to go talk to Father again and get that stuff for Virgil before they start blowing shit up. All right, here's the workbench. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Where am I supposed to build this bad boy? They want me to build it right here, I think. Special electromagnetic. I'm going to build one right here. Right here. Right here. And voila. We did it. We did it. Now, what the hell? Speak to Proctor. Now, we got to go back and talk to Proctor. My God, bro. I just want to kick ass and take names, dude. They got me running around being everyone's bitch right now. I, I don't fucking appreciate it. I did it, Ingram. Proctor. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice uh -huh. work. Right on schedule. You're welcome. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before what do you need Prime me to get now? talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was oh a major staging Oh my god, we're gonna nuke this place Force, again? So we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. She's right. Of course she's right. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation. Which was used as a nuclear weapon So let weapon me guess. I gotta go facility. talk to Proctor We're Quinlan and find out where they are, right? Of the Mark Why aren't all these people in one the same fucking area? The installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halo has established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol. I'm going to have to her, get so my suit. Can I can't go out to the glowing sea without my suit. Them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. Good luck. Mike. I feel like Prime might take over the whole wasteland. We might be in trouble. If Prime starts acting funny, how do we take him out? That's the real question.